Hi there, Sagittarius and Sagittarius Rising. This is Kimberly Knox, KK, your astrologer, and I am super excited to report what's happening to you this month, September into October. You're one of the mutable signs, so definitely a lot of dynamic stuff happening. Plus, your ruler, Jupiter, is making a big shift after a year of being in the sign of Virgo. So thank you all you Sag and Sag Rising. I'm a Sag Rising as well and I love the energy of Sagittarius and my moon happens to be in Sag. So I thank you all for subscribing to my channel to just be allowing me to share this passionate that, uh, passion that I have to share this amazing information, this, this science, this philosophy, this whole mixture that astrology is so that you can at some level have this, you know, <clears throat> this just deeper self-knowledge and, and what comes from that and just feeling uh, this this whole sense of uh, awe about yourself and your placement here. So oh, also reach out to me on Instagram. You can find some daily uh, tidbit or great information about uh, either astrology and or health because I am utilizing and combining both. So Sag, let's get going with what's happening here. Now, your career is the hot point. However, it's also affecting your home. You personally, because you are just a magnificent like powerhouse right now with Sag, with uh, Saturn and you, Mars there, you know, you're creating boundaries, you're pushing ahead, you are making things happen. This is a highly personally successful time for you. Um, more so than any time in your life because your ruler also in an earth sign in Virgo, which is a workaholic and you know really getting down to the details. And then uh, we, you also have um, Saturn in your sign. So you've got a real time where you've got to clean up your plate and focus and, and just you know take care of what you have and make success happen. Be responsible. And, and really drive forward. And, you know, Sag likes to have a good time. Doesn't mean you still can't have a good time, but you're combining all of that with real success now. This is super time for you. So let's look at the area that this lunar, this solar eclipse this morning, and we've got wild weather going on over here on the Gulf Coast of Florida. And typically the weather, it, you'd see that Mercury, Mercury retrograde, uh, you know, eclipse times, interesting things happen during that with the weather. So at the top of your chart, this is your career. This is nothing new for the last year, Sagittarians. You've had the benefit of uh, the eclipses affecting this area, bringing out your best, utilizing the tools, being recognized for the professional that you are, for the value that you have, Jupiter has also been up here in your 10th house. This is at the top of your chart. Top of your chart is where you're most visible. This is what you show the world. This is your, um, you know, your profession. This is your reputation. That's the word I was looking for. So we have that eclipse happening today. That eclipse is dynamic, extra dynamic, because we've got Saturn over here in square forming a T-square, Neptune is involved in this as well. Neptune's been in your home life. So it's either your worst, your worst nightmare or your highest dream. It's kind of what Neptune brings about. And that's very interesting. But um, so, you know, you, being able to take control in this area and also uh, to bring your, your dream, give, keep the foundation, keep, uh, it's like bringing a foundation to your dreams, but also it's like you're being able to keep things in control about what's going on here. And you just want to be able to uh, be careful of any deception. That's the low end of this realm. But the, the, offshore, the uh, offshoot of this <clears throat> dynamic T-square that we're having, the solar eclipse now, the lunar eclipse on the 16th, is your relationship. So your relationships are are getting that dynamic energy just because of this whole, uh, you know, the, the squares that are going on because this energy needs an outlet and it's going right into your relationship house. So big things happening. So what's been going on in your career home? Well, 
Mercury two days ago went retrograde. So it's saying that perhaps you need to rethink. We bought, you know, rethink your stuff around your career. Maybe you needed to talk to your boss about something. Maybe there's something you want to bring forward that you can add benefit and be recognized for that around your career. So now's the time when you're getting more information there. Maybe there's a project that was stalled that's very important to your career advancement or you're going to be seen for and that's going to be brought up. Maybe you're called into you know, some aspect of your career where it's kind of changing and that's being brought back. So you get a, a second chance somewhere. A second chance maybe to shine in new areas so that you can get a raise or a promotion in some sort. So take advantage of this time. It's time to roll up the sleeves. We're all doing the Virgo work. Virgo is about looking at what we have, assimilating it, taking what's good, utilizing our tools to make things better, perfect them, and then eliminating what's not useful. That's the whole thing with Virgo. Virgo in the body, if anyone's got moon in Virgo or, you know, uh, <clears throat> or Virgo, uh, sun in the sixth house, things like that, it rules the small intestines, it rules your digestion, it rules your ability to assimilate and to digest and to eliminate. So uh, that's a whole medical astrology thing, but that's what it rules in the body. So Jupiter up there in your 10th house, it's your ruler, it's been in Virgo. Jupiter's not so psyched about being in Virgo because it's got to do a lot of work. It's expansive. So it was really excited to be in Leo, but in Virgo it's been helping us to get back in touch with our routine and our health. You know, Sagittarius, you like to have a good time, go out and eat, party, drink, right? Well, it's been calling you to hone it in, take a look at what you're putting into your body, how much excess, so that you can also go forward extremely healthy, creating new routines that bring more health to you and to your physical body, because that's important to go forward here. But Jupiter, the big shift for you this month is that Jupiter is going to be shifting signs into Libra. That's happening on September the 9th, the exact same day as the first quarter moon. <clears throat> so first quarter moon, moon's going to be in your sign. And you're, it, so basically there's going to be some reflection of you're taking some steps whatever go, what's going on these seeds that you're planting around your career you're taking some steps to make some things happen so some things are happening around this time and then jupiter leaves that area <clears throat> so the day that a planet leaves a certain area it leaves a mark usually it's kind of like a like a sending off party i see it happen a lot well especially with dynamic planets like mars or benefics venus so this is a benefic and um it's going to be going into your 11th house, friendships, the money that you make from your career. So let's say you got a promotion while well, you're making more money now. Jupiter in the 11th house brings associations that bring you good fortune. It is protection. That's what Jupiter is. You guys are lucky, okay? But you bring your own luck too because you're so optimistic and you're so positive. You just attract all this great stuff to you. And that's beautiful, Sagittarius. Uh, <clears throat> so I mentioned Sat, uh, that you're having Saturn in your first house on your sun. Now depending where you know, you're know you born, if you're born toward the end of November into the beginning of December, you're, you've already kind of felt this Saturn on your sun, getting really disciplined. But it also can make you tired, like you got to get more sleep. So you just have to watch your health, depending on what house your sun is, what your natal chart looks like, what your particular rising sign is, and that you can only find by, you know, meeting with a personal astrologer or getting your chart done, you know. So looking at that when Saturn comes to your sun, mine was in the eighth house and that is the house of, you know, surgery and, and illness and stuff. And I remember that I just, I got really sick, but I was also working really hard. So you have to watch your health. Mars and Saturn came together. So once in every two, two year union, that was on August the 24th in your first house. So around that time, Sagittarius, you were making some plans about what you want, this serious side of you coming forward. You're making a statement, 
you've, you're pushing your agenda and you're making things happen. It's a very powerful time so to be happening there, which is really excellent. <clears throat> Tomorrow, Jupiter and Mercury are coming together. And that's the second time they did that. The first time was on August the 22nd. The, la the, the third time of this meeting, because Mercury is going retrograde, it's meeting with planets several times. The third time is going to be on October the 11th. This is good news. This is you getting excited about something in your career. Well, perhaps you've been giving a lot more uh, things to do, but you're excited about it because you like it. Well, the third time it's gonna happen, it's going to be in, in uh, the sign of Libra and your, um, in your house of your long-term your long goals and the money that you're making from your career your associations and friends. So perhaps you're gonna have some friends that really come through and they really start showing what, uh, how beneficial they are. Or you're gonna be joining a networking group, creating your own networking group, or some type of association, uh, humanitarian group that really benefits you in big ways, to carry you forward. Venus, Venus is already in that sector. Venus went into Libra a couple days ago and now it's blessing your friendships. So get out there and have fun. Wherever Venus is, it brings us goodies, you know. It's just that whole house lights up. It's nice and it's fun and you get gifts and rewards. And so that house is shining right now. So it's a time for you to get out and play. Go meet up with some friends, friends for lunch. Go out, if you join a new group, you're gonna find it to be really fun. So this is a good time to get out there. It'll benefit your career since you have everything going on up there and perhaps that's where you're gonna gather some of the information. So let's look at uh, the whole timeline here. Now that I've done like the whole basis of what's going on, <clears throat> you've got so much to look forward to, Sag. Um, every single month, Moon and Venus are coming together now all the way through January. January, Venus is gonna be in her wholeness phase. We're bringing forth something, all of us. And uh, it's a time to celebrate that union of emotions with uh, what we really want and you know it's a really good feel-good time and that's happening in Libra September the 3rd this weekend this Labor Day so if you've got some plans with friends it should be really really fun and this is generally ideal since it's your 11th house so looking forward, like I said, September the 9th, we have first quarter moon. Everybody has first quarter. Right now is the time we're in this eclipse, but you can lay out your intentions about new goals that you would like to achieve, especially around your career, because that's where Virgo is. Um, <clears throat> and um, whatever you're perfecting and making better, whatever you're sorting out, whatever you're organizing, whatever new routine you have, whatever health goals that you have, put them out there first quarter is when actions required September the 9th and then Jupiter goes into Libra that same day so your whole Sun your I mean your whole energy is shifting toward Libra what is that that's cool you love Libra it's an air sign and you're a fire sign they ignite each other it's perfect and you know it's about doing things with other people how fun is that it's cooperation it's socialization it's relationships it's getting along with others and generally Sagittarius gets along with everyone because you generally have an open optimistic outlook you have an open outlook for for others and for accepting others as opposed to being closed in that regard on um, on September the 10th Saturn in your first house squaring Neptune this is the third time this has happened this is you know bringing structure you are bringing structure to your life but it can be a revealing time of anything that's been going on with deception. You've got Neptune in your fourth house. So what's going on this deception around there? What's going on with water? Um, but it also is your dream. It can be your greatest romance as well. So you're bringing some structure to that, to that area of your life. So look at it in that terms. <clears throat> September the 12th, big time. Big time for you negotiation wise around the business whatever's going on in your career things you're working on you're gonna get some news around this time this is your aha moment about that mercury retrograde in your 10th house of career so use it wisely the 12th the 13th the 14th there's some long void of course time 
Void just means the, the moon's not making any aspect. The moon rules the public and the moon is the girl. When it's not connecting, so it's not time to do new things and it's not time anyway because Mercury's retrograde, but it's time to get to that to-do list. You've got some time off a little bit from things just happening. And <clears throat> so get to that to-do list, it's great. September the 16th, we're all gearing up for this lunar eclipse when and it's squared with Mars. It's an extremely dynamic time, dynamic time around the world. For you, it's dynamic because it's activating all of your angles. Here you are, Saturn, square Neptune. Um, you, Mars is going to be here. Here's the lunar eclipse in your fourth house of home. Something big is happening around here. You know, perhaps you're just you're sitting there going, wow, we just love my home and everything about it now. Neptune's there, it's a big dream. Or something is revealed around this time that was hidden to you, and now it's out. And that was that whole Saturn square too. Um, so watch because you have Mars in your first house, not to you being the aggressor, you being the one that starts the argument, but you're standing up for yourself. So if you need a time when you're assertive, Mars is perfect, and Mars has been in Sagittarius now, making you assertive ever since August the 2nd. So this is really great. Mars is going to move into your second house of money, the money that you earn, the money that you make, the money that you spend, on September the 22nd that shift is coming as well I like September the 18th for you write it down Jupiter is your sign I mean Jupiter is your planet and your planet is going to be sitting at this two degrees of Libra for several days this is the point in the galaxy in the you know e ecliptic <clears throat> where there is a super galactic center it's this colossal black hole there's several of them and then the the other galactic center is uh, in the sign of of Sagittarius actually so people born December the 18th have this you know download of magnificent forming inform you know uh, energy Brad Pitt happens to be born that day um, can't remember the other person if it's um, I can't remember right now if it comes to me um, it's another Sag and she's a singer and now I can't remember who it is but um, it's a very powerful day so this is a powerful time you're always open Sag so open to being fulfilled about what we came here to do if we're open so you know this it should be really interesting to see if you know something happens with phones and everything right with all this download of electromagnetic energy you know because Jupiter expands everything so it should be kind of interesting I like I like um, September 20th, 22nd, 23rd. Pluto. Where is Pluto for you? Pluto's in your second house. You have been transforming your cash flow for years now. You know, whatever's been going on with you, coming together in marriage or divorce or, or getting a new job, you've been powerful here. And it's going to be in trying to Mercury up in your career house. So whatever you've been working on there, Ask, asking for a raise, perhaps it's now going to come to fruition. And there's a power associated with that to go forward. September the 23rd, hot, hot romance day for everyone. Venus moves into Scorpio. It's also a time when the Libras, the Libra risings, the Taurus, Taurus rising, your ruler goes into Scorpio and the Scorpio energy comes out and, uh, and it's relating to <clears throat> It's relating to our deepest desires. It's relating to what we really want, what our intentions are. So being clear on all of this. This theme's going to be around for a bit because at the next new moon, Venus is also in uh, the sign of Scorpio. And uh, I believe that Taurus is rising in the chart, so it makes it extra, you know, Venus-oriented. So just be, uh, be aware of that. September the 26th, another powerful day for you, Sagittarius. Sun is coming together with your ruler, Jupiter. Once every year, Sun and Jupiter come together. So this past year, Sun and Jupiter came together in Virgo. That's where Virgo, that, that's where uh, Jupiter's been, up in your career zone. Now it's going into your house of friendships, long-term goals, and group associations. So think about what's going on for you in this area. You're planting new seeds. Something's going to grow. 
you know. Um, so get out there and make it grow in this area because this will bring your rewards. This is where you're going to shine. It's expansive. And Pluto in your second house of cash flow, value, personal value, and self-esteem is going forward this day. Okay? So look for that power shift. Look for that energy. On September the 22nd, you've got uh, Mars going into that sector of cash flow. All right, you're pretty conservative when it comes with your money. You're really lucky about making money. So now you may be spending more money. You may have more bills or you might be really aggressive in making more when it goes into uh, Sagittarius. It's the action. Mars loves Capricorn. I said Sag, but Mars loves Capricorn because it loves this whole, you know, power force. It's kind of the energy of, of Scorpio and Capricorn coming together. That's extremely good for business. So you're working, we're working up to this September the 30th, new moon in Libra. So, you know, the planets are already there for you. You are building some new connections out there. When this new moon comes, it's time to take hold and, and to really uh, go out there and make some new stuff happen with friendships or new groups that you're involved with. If you got a new job, you may need, be needing to network. Or if you got a, uh, a promotion, you may be having different associations. You may be called upon to join different associations for your career. And um, at this point, Mercury is back to the point of the last solar eclipse last September, which was also in your career zone. So you're going to see how much you've accomplished Sag and it's just crazy all of us we've accomplished so much it's going to be very plain as day when when we get there we can look at it and be very proud about what we've accomplished and um, you know Mercury is back to 29 degrees of Virgo by October the 6th that's the point it went retrograde so you got it figured out up there and then it can move on to your 11th house and your focus and your thoughts can be around your friendships that you have, those associations, any new groups that you're involved with or groups you're starting to, you know, that you're starting. Meetup groups or something that's going to help you out. That's where your focus is going to go around that time. And one more day here, October the 11th, that's also when Jupiter is going to be joining uh, Mercury again. But this time, it's in your 11th house. So something that's been percolating with all those friends and groups and, and stuff it's relationships uh cooperation with others it's a really it's a nice time it's a really great time you're gonna feel you're gonna feel uplifted on september the 9th when your ruler changes signs okay so for stones um uh, you know and crystals if you have an interest in that you can look into this but here's a few of them that are really good for extra concentration and since Saturn is in your sign, you know, obsidian, obsidian is very good. It's a grounding uh, and it associates with that energy that you have. Mercury is all about your communication, our wisdom, our concentration. And when it's retrograde, you know, we're having to rethink things and get into that. So tiger's eye and carnelian, really good for concentration. They said calcite as well. Uh, you can research some more. I also like the uh, therapeutic, um, the uh, essential oils, the therapeutic grade, the high quality grade. When you breathe in <clears throat> and your opposite sign is Gemini, Gemini rules the lungs and so Sagittarius has to be aware of wind and lungs and uh, especially if your own Mercury has got a powerful planet on it, you need to watch out for your breathing what you're breathing in. So know that what you breathe into your air, your lungs, goes right into your bloodstream. That's why you gotta get rid of, if you're using any air fresheners, please unplug them, get them out of the wall. Don't be spraying it in the air because it literally goes right into your bloodstream. And they're tracing those to the endocrine system, which you don't wanna mess up. Trust me, this is your whole the hormonal base. And if you're, wherever you are is going to affect you but especially you know menopausal or older or thyroid issues it just compounds the problems so check out some therapeutic grade oils and uh, start diffusing them you know it really uplifts you especially since you've got Saturn on you kind of weighing you down you definitely need to get your sleep you need to uplift your mind and your body and your health 
So peppermint, a eucalyptus, uh, orange, I like the citrus, and lavender is very calming and relaxing. Clarity is an amazing blend for thinking and for thoughts. And there's more. You can reach out to me if you have questions on any of those. I'm happy to share because I love them myself. I'm diffusing right now RC. Um, I love RC. That's a really great blend. It's really invigorating, especially before you work out. So, Sag, I'm so... I'm so excited for you and you've accomplished so much. So have a fabulous month. Really get that planner out. Write these dates down. Watch it again if you have to. And just be super, super successful.